assalamu alaikum students how are you all hope you all will be fine and safe good i'm your english teacher as you know that students we have completed our explanation of unit 1 the nouns and now today i'm going to explain you the exercises of unit 1 nouns first i'll give you the short uh, explanation about noun then i'll explain you the exercises of this unit so let's move on the explanation of um, the nouns then after exercises so student it's your unit 1 nouns so first I'm going to tell you about the short explanation about nouns once again. So start. What is noun? Names of creatures, places, things, feelings, or qualities. That is called the noun. in this nouns its kinds are common noun proper noun concrete noun abstract noun collective noun and material noun so first i'm going to explain you the common noun in common nouns we talk about the general names like uh, girl city subject these are the common noun because there is no uh, particular name about the city girl and subject so they are talking about the common name like i told before girl city subject so every girl every city in every subject it is the common noun because there is no particular name of that and then proper noun and proper noun that shows the specific names somebody's city and uh, subject that the specific name that shows the proper noun because they are showing their names proper names that's called the proper noun like example shahla shahla is a name of girl and it is a proper and specific name karachi it is also a city name history it is also a subject name so it is called the proper noun then we will talk about the countable noun countable noun can be numbered as singular or plural countable nouns can be uh, singular and plural like uh, example fence concrete it's all both examples are the in plural forms and but it is the countable noun an uncountable noun cannot be numbered which uh, uncountable noun means that thing which we cannot be counted that's called the uncountable noun like water air wisdom so these things we cannot be count that's called it is uncountable noun then concrete noun concrete noun can be experienced 
through any of the five senses like uh, boy, paper, chair, car. An abstract noun, concept, idea, state of mind, quality, feeling, like example, remarks, hopes, desires, feelings. These all examples are the abstract noun example. So now collective noun. Collective noun is a group. Means we are talking about the group and uh, you, you know groups are made by two or more than two things, people. That's called the groups. For example, pack of wolves, bunch of keys, army of ants. These are the groups. Because we are talking about more than two. That's why it's called the corrective noun. Material noun. Materials used to be different things. That material which we are using in different things, that's called the material. Example like silicon, ivory, wood, cement. In these things, we make uh, another one thing that's made the material. And either we are making uh, things with wood, cement, that's also called the material. Material of wood, material of cement. That's why it, it's called the material now. Then compound noun, it is a multi-word noun because compound is a mixture of two or more than two things and substances like uh, example, pool, haircut, swimming, grandmother, Vice Chancellor, it is all examples are the compound word now. So, students, I have a short uh, explanation of nouns. Now, I am going to explain the exercise of this. So, students, in first Exercise is A. Underline the nouns in these sentences. It first is their band plays wonderful music. So we have to find it noun in this line. So what is the noun in this line? The band. The band is noun in this line. Now, other one is a single truth is more powerful than a thousand lies. So, in this sentence, we have two uh, nouns like true and like lies and now in third sentence my grandfather's patience is amazing so in this uh, sentence we have grandfather's is a noun In four, we love the fragrance of sandalwood. So, in this uh, sentence, we have two nouns like uh, fragrance, and second one is sandalwood. 
and last one is there is no information about the missing baggage at the airport so student in this sentence we have uh, three nouns like first uh, information and second is baggage and third one is airport so student exercise a is completed now let's move on the other one exercise so students exercise d in this exercise fill in the blanks with the correct form of the nouns given in brackets so we have to fill the blanks with the help of bracket words so first the two students stayed in their hostel for two and a half dash and in bracket here means two students are staying in the hostel so we have to make it the noun is clear here we have to make it here in the noun form so we are going to write here now second one is second is one of the is dash tooth was decaying at an alarming rate so in this uh, bracket word tooth we have to make it change into noun so we will do it like teeth right so last move on number 3 the culprit turned out to be a wolf in sheep's dash clothing so in this uh, word clothing we should change into nouns it is the same clothing and now number 4 both her dash for were injured while playing hockey so so in this for change into see then number 5 the dash g of all the organization met at the venue so its chief is goes into chief so students i have done the next exercise b so now i'm going to start exercise e so let's move on so students exercise e fill in the blanks with the correct form of the nouns given in bracket same again we have to use bracket words to fill the blanks so first is our school children bag the dash runner up trophy so uh, before exercise d i have explained you just make it in the plural forms that's called the noun changes so we will do it like then runners up and now second it 
there is a meeting of all dash commander in chief at the headquarters so in this also we will write the plural forms and rest of the other is same so we will put s in this line commanders and then in g now number 3 the dash vice chancellor of different universities have agreed on the new proposal so in this uh, we have to write write this one vice chancellor and now move on number 4 they have replaced the pieces of their old dash furniture with new ones so in this we used the same like the furniture and now last one their two dash son in law are coming to next week so in this noun form is sons in law so students so students i have explained you and done three exercises that you will be do in your copy so before doing this work i'm going to tell you how you will do your work in fair copy first you have to draw your index and uh, you will fill the date serial number and then uh, then content name means your unit name if you are doing one so unit one is noun okay as you did before and then you will write the exercise of it that how many exercises we are going to do it in this unit and then after next page you will make a tata page of month which is the month of august then you will make the tata page of uh, the unit that is uh, the nouns then you will start your work as i explain you in this video and uh, for your easy i'm going to send you in this uh, group of unit 1 noun specs that uh, that will be help you in the written work so i'm going to send this work in pix also so first you have to make the title page of month and then unit then you will start your work like that phase which i'm sending you and uh, if you have any kind of problem regarding this unit you can ask to me in your uh, group which will be open in 5 to 6 and uh, you can ask me in my personal number also so students till then allah hafiz bye take care